if one looks at uh, the current uh, situation, I think it would be right to start off with October 7th. Uh, we regard October 7th as a terrorist attack. Uh, we uh, understand that Israel had a need to respond. But we also believe that any response by any country has to take into interna account international humanitarian law, that it must be careful about uh, any uh, you know, damage or any uh, implications for civilian populations. Uh, and that given uh, what happened, what has happened in Gaza, it is important to have uh, some kind of international humanitarian uh, effort out there. And uh, we are very much uh, concerned at the possibility of a broadening of the conflict, not just what happened in Lebanon, but uh, also, uh, you know, I referred earlier to the Houthis and the Red Sea. And, you know, uh, to some extent, anything that happens between Iran and, and Israel. So, uh, again, uh, it's one thing to be concerned. I'm sure you can say that for a lot of countries. If, as part of that concern, you can end up uh, doing something about it, you know, again, uh, don't underestimate the importance of communication in difficult times. Uh, if, if there are things to be said and passed on and uh, passed back, uh, I think those are all uh, contributions that we can make, and we do.